Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bit of a different video in a long time. I used to do these videos way back when I started my channel like years and years and years ago. I think I did one of these maybe 2016, 2017, around that time. Um, probably 2016. But yeah, <laughs> thought I'd do a what's in my bag video because I've had several people ask me and I thought people, you know, I get nosy. I'm just a curious child and I want to know what is in other people's bag and a lot of people ask me what the heck do I have let me just close that up quickly what do I actually carry in my backpack because like you know let's be honest I'd love to have like a cute little practical bag for like outfits and shit but I could bring that one just to take photos but in reality I'm going to be carrying this bad boy so if you want to see what's in my bag and you're curious and you want to know what bits and bobs I carry, the essentials with me, then keep on watching. So, let's begin. <laughs> this bag has been with me for years. I think I probably got this in like 2015? 15, I think it was. So five years ago. Such a good bag. It has lasted me so long, but um, the tags, that like the zipper thingy are gone. But I can still open them because they're wide enough, so hey ho. <laughs> um, I actually got this bag in Mexico in, um, so if you're in Mexico, I got it in Liverpool. Um, so in English it'd be Liverpool, but <laughs> yeah, I don't, there's like no brand on here on the back, so I mean it was quite affordable, it wasn't super expensive, but expensive enough to be like, yeah, that was a little bit more pricey, but worth my money because it's affordable yet durable, and that's what we're looking for right now. So. Oh, who knows? If he knows. So yeah, that's very, very practical. Love it. So yeah, I have no idea how much it was. I got it years ago, but it's lasted me so long. So essentially, I just wear this one because it's like my most practical bag. I literally freak out. Like there was a moment there when I came back here, when I came back home, and I couldn't find this bag. I was like, how the fuck? How? Where am I gonna throw my stuff? Like I can't carry two bags. And I was like, I'm not gonna buy another one. Where's my practy handy dandy bag? So that's what it was and I always carry this like cute little backpack in so let's dive in and let me show you what I have first things off I have these spare bags so I'm not the type of person that likes to purchase plastic bags every single time we go to the supermarket or somewhere else so if it comes to some need so if there's a need I will bring my bag um Mexico for a while there like I didn't even go outside for a supermarket run or anything like that nothing and I could get everything delivered so I didn't like risk it and just stay inside right but here I can't do that so I do have to go into the supermarket which I'm loving I love going to the shop for food so I'm loving that in a moment but yeah it keeps two bags here one is from um a pharmacy from here in Germany Karl Apotheke and I love these kind of like linen bags. They're just like so practical and they're soft and they're not too like, you know, I don't know, bulky. Um, you can use like the recyclable Sainsbury's bag. Oh, sorry, my back is killing me for a second. I'm gonna slouch. I'm gonna try and keep my back up straight for this video, but if you just see me sinking, because I have terrible posture, but yeah. Have that bag. And then I also have another bag, a water, oh, okay, nail it a water stone bag and I flip in love this bag I'm so glad I got it it just it's so it's like a piece of home that I keep with me it might sound ridiculous but yeah after all after all this time still believe the place I've held happiest safest what most say safest yeah and just home is the UK and then like just just slightly below it is Germany but yeah I just I love Waterstone and yeah I have these in here also like I just fold them together and keep that at the bottom of the bag but they slide up down depending on use and also I love these little things this is also a bag and I find like these things the most useful things ever I'm like a granny when it comes to these things you just like you know take your bag and it's all folded in here you see it's so useful so i always keep those three bags because i am um, an impulsive shopper i have absolutely no control so if i go somewhere and see something i like most likely i'm gonna get it um but yeah you just like fold it into like a very long hot dog and just three hours later still folding it also comes with like a hanging clip so you can keep it like in any piece of your bag, part of your bag that like you know has that, so you can just 
clip that there or like you know on the outside or on your keychain or something but i just keep it like extra in the backpack it's big practical next i have some receipts and this is from a homeware store danish is better ladder so yeah Just looking at stuff I bought, but I can't really tell you because it's like four videos. So I don't want to spoil it. I, I can say I did buy that, like those this leaf thing. I got that. <laughs> but yeah. Right next, I have um the Manfrotto tripod. It's like really look very portable. You know, you can move it around. You can press this button and move the little thingy very handy for vlogging i just bring this one with me it's super lightweight so i just chuck it in my bag it even fits in one of like those tiny like bowling bags like about this big it fits in there so very handy thing is when you're vlogging you need a little bit more of equipment so you need slightly larger bag especially because like you know there's a lot of essentials and as a woman you just chuck things in there it happens so and i'm the type of person that always like need little things here and there so i know like i always have to carry like my pouch of essentials which i'm about to show you but yeah next thing is another tripod this might be a little ott but this is actually for my phone and um you can twist it you can do that you can like you know it's like proper selfie stick and it comes with one of those um selfie shutters remote control shutters and you just turn it on it is usb charged so very much appreciate that turn it on turn it off you can charge it you don't need any batteries so it's very handy um, for when I need to like, you know, vlog on my phone, take selfies, take photos, and you, know, you just kind of like leave it and like, it's also a tripod. So I flip and love this. And this is my brand called Blitz Wolf. I'm not sure where I got this from. I'm not sure if this is one that I got in Mexico. This is one that I got in the UK. I'm not sure. I'll try to have a look. And if I can find it, I'll link it in the description box below. Anything that I can find, I will link it in the description box. So if you just want to get anything that I have in here, Take a look down there and just see if it might be there. But yeah, next, my pouch of essentials. So like I said, I love this kind of fabric and it's just such a cute little thing. It says makeup. <coughs> we done? We done. Right. So I'm going to open it. I'm just going to take stuff out and like I said, what I can find. I'll link it for you and, you know, all that jazz. So first things first, it's some Nivea Soft face, body and hands refreshingly soft moisturising cream. Um, you know you gotta keep some hands soft. Um, this is actually, <laughs> this is really good but yeah. I like having this because you can have like the big tub, have the big tub and you can just refill it so it's very like you know sustainable I guess and also um, I think you can recycle this. No you can't actually. I did not know that. You can't recycle this so it's handy for when you need to just like you know instead of buying a whole new tub just you know refill it from the big one just grab a little spatula or just do the whole thing and just grab it with my hands at the end of the day i'm going to be using that cream so <laughs> don't really care next is a gene and lend philosophy um hand balsams yeah this is a german brand and i talk about it in a vlog but i think this video is going to go up sooner like i think the vlog's like tomorrow or something um but yeah i love this brand like i tried so the whole story behind this is i'm gonna say it really quickly because i talk about it in my vlog but yeah um Basically, my mom got me some shampoo and conditioner, absolutely loved it, saw it was like vegan, it's a vegan brand and I think it says on um, no parabens, I think. Anyway, um, yeah, I really liked it and then I started buying like every single product I could find at Rossman, so I basically just got the entire line I um, that I could find in Rossman. But then my mom decided to go online and like look for the brand and there has a website. And, it had a and there was a website and in the website they had a lot more products and I was like oh Jesus Christ I'm gonna have to buy them all I love them like usually I don't love a drugstore brand for hair and shampoo and like other care because I'm like oh it's just not as good but this is vegan and it's just it's great I love it so I recommend it to everyone this is the hand cream I have like in that little corner which I think you can just about see right there I've like the top of it I have foot cream hand cream body lotion um, cream oil, like body wash, like lavender vanilla body wash, and just, it's amazing. I love it. Hair masks, like I just, I'm obsessed with it. So I'm definitely gonna get more products so that I can get my hands on them, but been obsessed. Like all my money has gone into this, I think. So yeah, I love it. I think I have two, I might have two in here. Yeah, I have two. 
I have two, so I have three hand creams. One more for, yeah, this is the one that I'm using. This is a new one, actually. I need to put this in another bag or something. But yeah. Next is an SPF. Um, this is a mineral SPF. It's a powder SPF. So you just take the cap off, take the little plastic cover off, and literally, like, this is just how I touch up my little SPF um, application. I put it all over my face, but it's nighttime, so I don't really need to do that. But yeah, this is by the brand I stim easy things it's up so now um i'll try to look for it but yeah i found this at the pharmacy in mexico so absolutely love this 50 plus sun protection um uva and uvb so it's a nice way to touch up your spf without like you know ruining your makeup if you have makeup on so i really like it it does have like a little bit of a tint you can't see it i can't see it but i think they need to like you know make this translucent or just have different shades whichever one works but the translucent one needs to have like like you know proper translucency transparency that's the word um so yeah next i have a little deodorant this is the lady speed stick clinical complete protection um deodorant stick refreshing most refreshing it is but water huh? most refreshing with you know standard 20 grams gotta have some deo to like you know descent those pits scent those pits anyway next i have lip balm um this is the la roche posay thicker plus leather so um this is a very rep repairing lip balm and it has panthenol five percent plus mp lipids and I absolutely love this. It's not as good as my Lanolix. I recommend my Lanolix to everyone because it's insanely good. And I love them. I, I need to get I need to get a few more because just I love them. They last forever. And I still have not found anything better than that. But this is like a good day moisturizer. This is like a good day lip balm. It's just you can just chuck it on and it's not as thick as the other ones. I definitely recommend for the winter just switching over to like, you know, the extremely dry, very dry lips one. It's a clear bottle. It's the lemonade treatment. Link in the description box, but I love that one. Um, but yeah, this is just one handy one that when you just, you know, need to apply a little something. Because this is cold up in this mesh. Next, I have, oops, I have gum. Um, this is from Mexico, actually. Trident. And just, you know, your standard spearmint gum. Most refreshing. Next, for refreshingness, I have smints. You gotta have some mint. You never know when you might need them. Um, next, I have a hairbrush, a portable hairbrush. Now, it, it might seem obsessive, but honestly, there are times where I go out, where like I get up from the morning, get dressed, like literally put on SPF, or sometimes I don't even have time for SPF, and this is how I apply it, and just go out the door and brush my hair in the car if it, I'm running that late. But yeah, it also comes with a mirror, and I got, I believe I got this in Super Drug, and it's like super inexpensive, so you can get that. Um, yeah, next I have some anti-acid tablet. I uh, suffer from really bad acid reflux and I struggle to find something that actually works for me. So the only thing that has truly worked for me are like the Remy tablets that you can get in the UK. It proper works for me. You take two and it's gone. Magical. Magic. But I can't find any of them here and in Mexico. So in Mexico I used to use these. That are, they're called Zooms, but I had to have like three or four and I mean it was a bit much but it, it, it like kept it at bay because it was just really bad so there's that I have the high smile breath spray I need to get another high smile um gel kit and like go from zero because I have like my teeth quite stained because in Mexico I ran out of gels and I didn't really do the treatment as much as I do it when I'm here because I consistently do it and my teeth were at like a point where I really liked how they were looking but then I just stopped doing it completely and had a lot of like food coloring coffee tea need to order okay <laughs> need to order a little bit more of the gels and start from scratch because my teeth either it might not look like it on camera right now if you put me against white you can see the difference and I don't want them to be stark white but I do want them to be whiter because they want black yellow few shades so that's that <laughs> Anyway, um, this is a breast spray. I think I have two in here. So let me just keep on taking things out. Ibuprofen for migraines and pain, just painkiller. Generally, just have this for headaches because I tend to get really bad headaches every now and then. Not really, not anymore. I used to get like really bad headaches a few months ago, but they're 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 okay now. More anti-acid tablets. I have a plaster. 
the High Smile um, portable gel pen thingy. And you just literally like, do that. But I'm not even going to try to do that because it's just going to be all waste. I have some allergy tablets, antihistamines, because I'm really allergic to pollen, cats. Basically just air. <laughs> so I just need to have them once in a while. I don't take them every single day because it's just too tiring. Next, I have a dime wrapper. Love my chocolate. Next, I have contact lens case because I do use glasses. Like, I need to see the reflection, but I think these have my Halloween contact lenses, if I'm not mistaken. So I need to put them into another tin because, yeah. <laughs> Next. What do I have? A contact lens, a spare one, just in case we have emergencies. The second high smile breath spray. And then I have the Woman by Ralph Lauren Roller Ball. Um, oh, de parfum. Absolutely love this. This is like my, my scent. This is like, if you smell this, this, this is me. This is what I wear like on a day-to-day -day basis, really. And then the black one, the intense one, is when I wear in the evenings. That's like a, like, not a daily fragrance. But I've been trying out a new fragrance, and I think it's like my new me. So like every, around every two, three years, I change like, you know, my standard fragrances. And I still keep all the other ones, but like, you know, love them. I have more anti-acid tablets. Next, I have another contact lens for my left eye. So I do have different prescriptions for my eyes. And I've got a little mirror, and this actually, I think it came in, a, in an advent calendar way back in 2017 or something. This is by Tanya Burr Cosmetics. Love it. It's a cheeky little mirror. Still have it. You know, I thought I would lose it, but still haven't. I think what I've lost is my red gloss, which I use in another one of my videos, my red glossy lips video. That one, that's the one I use. But yeah, very handy for doing your makeup in the car, in the bus, anywhere. If you're my friend and I've gotten like ready with you to go out and stuff, you've seen this mirror. I can do my whole face. Play with some lashes in the bus, you know, do them brows, apply your red lip. Like, this, this mirror. I see me get ready for night. <laughs> and that's it for my little makeup bag. So, yeah. Then I have some tissues. Quite essential with runny noses and allergies. So I'm just going to put them in here because this is where they're supposed to go. You know. I have some extra professional white gum. I actually feel like having one, so. Love these big packages. They're so handy. Next, I have some disinfectant wipes um, for hand and surfaces. I've got 51 essential for these COVID times. You never know when you might need to wipe something icky. Supermarkets, I don't really wipe the cuts or anything like that. I just use hand sanity after what that. So, you know, don't touch my face, wash my hands when I get home, that kind of stuff. But yeah, disinfectant wipes, standard this year. Then I have my little electronics bag kit thing. I like to have a little bit of organization in my mess. So first thing that we have when we take it out is a spare battery. Need it for vlogging. Then I have a remote shutter, which I don't really need if I have that tripod with the shutter, but I mean, it's still here. We have a pair of earphones with the cable because you never know when your AirPods might run out, out of actual battery and you know, you never know when you might need them, you know? And also my cable to charge my phone anywhere I go. I don't have a plug in here though, which I should get, but they're a bit bulky. They're not as small as the ones from Mexico, so yeah. But you can put that anywhere. It has, it comes with like a little, little thing to pop on. I don't know what that is for really. Next, I have my little heating pad thingies. So it gets really, really cold here. And sometimes I am absolutely flipping freezing and and I need to keep my hands warm my hands and feet are like almost always cold so yeah essentially what you do with these is that you press this like little silver thing if you've never seen it I'll show you on camera right now but I'll show you with this clear one so I have two matching ones that say baby it's cold outside which is my favorite Christmas song so I had to you know you only use them in winter time but the might as well be Christmassy right and then I have two other ones that I just recently got and it says let it snow and this one has a mug so i'm going to show you on this clear one so you can see it and yeah so basically what you do is you grab this little silver thing i love how i'm giving you a tutorial but i just there might be some people that like you know don't know but i love these 
and ever since like we moved back from Mexico, like from Germany to Mexico, I was like devastated because I couldn't use these anymore and they didn't sell them in Mexico because it's just, you know, it's always hot, you don't need these. So, oh, the cat's crying. Anyway, I'm gonna, you know, snap them, you snap it and then you see and this reaction is really hot i'm not sure which chemicals it is i'm not sure what kind of reaction it is but produces this heat and it's just so warm and cozy and you can just keep these in your pocket and yeah and once it's like this it just doesn't go back like that you need to boil it so um it gets like liquidy again like that so from this it'll go back to that but you need to boil it for i don't know about like what three minutes or something like eggs <laughs> So yeah, and it's really warm and it keeps you so warm and cozy. Basically, it's like a hot water bottle. Portable hot water bottle, if you want to think of it like that. But you just crack it and voila. It's so warm and cozy. It just immediately makes me feel like oh, warm. And this room is flipping hot, so. <laughs> Especially for lights. Especially for lights. Next, um, I have my trendy face mask. <laughs> so... You know, sometimes you want to take a pic outside, but you do need to be wearing a mask, and here we go. I don't use this every day, and I just I, I just feel like it just doesn't protect you as much as other ones, so I just use it when I want to take a photo, and you know, it's like a cute little mask, isn't it? <laughs> and I love it, how it changes, it's like a whole accessory, 2020 accessories, huh? Love this, love this. I have another mask and this one oh I thought I thought I put this somewhere else. This is actually a face mask by Banner. Banner if you're watching this video by any chance, which I doubt you are, but um it's one of your face masks. So um if any of you guys have ever been to Brighton or live in Brighton and like to go clubbing or would like to go clubbing, Shush is the place to go. See front yeah, like, there's no other place I'd tell you to go. Like go to that place. You'll flip and love it. Two different rooms, VIP area. Everyone's fucking amazing. I love absolutely everyone that works there. Love them. I miss them so much. We're not getting emotional, but go there. And um, basically, the DJ that's in the second room, Igloo, his band works. And this is like his stuff. And I, I'm not going to put it on because I have lip gloss, but absolutely fucking love this. And he gave me he gave me this right before um, like any of this started happening. So now it's actually super, super handy because I'm always using it but yeah I absolutely love it okay um that's it for the big section and then for the little section at the back I have this notebook because the first thing you see and it just says dreams 1991 this is from Paul and Bear I was like I don't know where I got this from but yeah this is from Paul and Bear along with my journal it came like I bought it years ago so I'm sure that it's not going to be in stock but yeah I just keep like my notes here video ideas and stuff like that kind of nice you never know when you might need to write down something and sometimes like yeah you could do it on your notes on your phone and stuff but sometimes you actually need to write it down i'm actually that person so i keep a pen with me at all times this is actually from the Smith. so yeah next i have my card holder just you know standard card holder id card license um royalty cards <laughs> i think i still have i have a Oh my god, this is like, yeah. A revolution card? God, I miss revs. When did this? Expire 31st August 2019. So this can go out. Like, no one needs this. And my health and beauty card from Superdrug. Oh my god, and way back when, when I used to go clubbing, you could open this bit in the middle. And it has lining, so I'm sure you can put stuff in it too. Cards, maybe. But I used to put McDonald's. Do I still have one in there? No. I used to put McDonald's salt packets, so when I would go out, I'd just whip it out and it would be for my tequila shots. Fucking, I would always have salt, always have salt on me for them tequila shots. Always. Okay, moving on. No more missing. Next is my portable battery. So, yeah, um, it is wireless charging, so you just literally put your phone and it charges like that, which is very handy for the new phone. But in case you're trying to charge something else and you can't do wireless charging like that, I don't know why it's so filthy. It's like it's filthy. It has like eyelash glue or something. I don't know. But yeah, it's a power bank and it has 20,000 milliampers, I think. And it also has two little USB um, 
output and the way to charge it with like you know the micro usb usually i have a micro usb um, cable also in here for people that need to charge their phone and they have a micro usb insert but since we're not going out meeting people spending time with friends i don't really carry one right now and there's just not a huge need really so yeah i do carry it for my like you know um clip on light but it's not in my bag currently so it's not part of this video is it if it's not in my bag so yeah that's the bit oh no we still have two more things <laughs> okay so here's my uh tinted lano lips lip balm it has spf 30 and this is in the rhubarb type shade style <laughs> and i do prefer the Lan lanolix lemonade treatment because it's so much more moisturizing but it does give you a nice tint for like you know if you just want to put like you know a lip balm that will also protect you from the sun and it's like nice so, so you could even put like lip liner just put this on top and it looks really cute so love this and then um my airpods gotta have them when you're out gotta have them um i still have like i think it's the first generation of airpods i'm not sure if it's the second because the second one has a dot, I think. So yeah, it's the first generation of AirPods, and I just just didn't love AirPods. Um, I think I'm gonna treat myself to a little update when I have a new phone, because I still have my eight handy dandy eight plus. So um, when that stops working, and like with the updates and everything, I think I'm just gonna treat myself to a new phone with new AirPods. But they're amazing, super handy. That's basically it for the bag. Now we're just gonna look on the front, and I know exactly what's in the front. <laughs> In the front, we always have the things that need sanitizing. So I have hand sanity. And the hand sanity that I always use, which is actually running quite low now, um, it's the Touchland hand sanitizer. It's the Power Mist, um, 38 milliliters. It's the aloe vera scent. And yeah, very handy. You don't need to like, you know, just do that. Like it's just done, done. And I have some coins in there. I'm not going to take, take the coins out, but have some coins in there and some spare receipts as well. I'm a mess. But yeah, that's it for my what's in my bag. Like, it's just a bunch of essentials. Now, one thing I do want to throw in there is this, because it's been happening where I just go outside and I'm just waiting and I'm not on my phone because I have no service or no data, either or. And... You know, I'm not like frustrating and be like oh, getting frustrated with myself and be like, oh my god, I don't have data, I can't go on Instagram. So I just like enjoy that time off screen. It's like my mini digital detox. So yeah, I haven't started reading this book. I think I read one page, but all the receipts are very good bookmarks. So yeah, I really want to read this. Um, currently, I'm reading Shadow of Night by Deborah Harkness. It's, it's the second book. Uh, book. What accent was that? It's the second book of the Discovery of Witches, Witches Trilogy. <clears throat> My voice, Jesus. I haven't like fully gotten into the book. I've only in the first like chapter, I think, or maybe the second chapter. I'm not sure. Very early in the book, and I just want to sit down and have a proper read and like get a good chunk of it like out of the way because I want to finish it. I have a bunch of books I need to read, and I just need to read a lot. So yeah, but that's it. That's it. Um, I think this might have been a really long one and I mean, I've been a bit rambly, but I feel like I really like doing different types of videos and I just am here for it. I just, I, I love it. I hope you liked it too. If you did like it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you commented. What did you find the most weird out of everything I took out of my bag? I, I don't know what you would find weird. I guess maybe these or the fact I have so many receipts. Or maybe you found weird to have a revolution card. Like, I just... I don't know. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you like this. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell. I upload videos two to three times a week. I will let you know. The place I'm most active on is Instagram. And I post daily stories. And just like, you know, I don't upload a lot of posts. Which I need to get better at. But hopefully, I'm going to get better at. Especially with, like, you know, Halloween, Christmas and everything. It should be a lot better. So, yeah. If you want to see me a little bit more active and find me another place, all my socials are in the description box. But, yeah. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to click the notification as well to get notified of all my videos. And I'll see you on my next one.